Hi everyone, welcome back to Oak Hill. So, thanks for your feedback, everyone, off the last episode. Uh, it really does. It really does help. Um, I was maybe a little bit nervous, but I'm probably not as confident as I usually am. Um, hopefully, this second episode is going to be a little bit better. So, I've skipped forward actually to mid spring. So, this means that the ground is up to temperature. We've still got moisture on the ground. However, that means we also have slightly better contracts. So, I'm actually going to take this one on. We uh, f cultivated this field in the last episode. So, now we're going to sow it. So, I need to remember to borrow equipment. So, we'll get paid just under 2000 for this, which is not so bad. Let's get in it and let's hook up. Um, I think we have to buy our own seed. I don't think there's any seed in this. No. So it says it takes fertilizer as well, but that's fine. We don't need that. How much will we need? Canola doesn't use much, so I'm probably. Let's just go for one of these and. <laughs> Hope for the best. Did I buy that? Yeah. Now I'm filming this just quite soon after the last one. Uh, the video's only been up for 24 hours. This is the only day that I'm going to manage to get this done. So I'm hoping to get this out at the end of the week. Uh, maybe Friday. Uh, Friday actually is a good day. And the reason being is because I'm on annual leave... From after I finish work on Friday, uh, I'm off for 10 days. I'll be recording lots. Um, I probably won't be able to record one of these. Uh, I just won't have the time, but the, the time lapse definitely. Oop, cracky. The time lapse definitely I'll have some time to do because uh, I can film that in parts. And the reason being is because my internet is not so great. Uh, less than one megabits upload, I think. So, uh, yeah, not so good. Um, it doesn't like YouTube at all. I, I've tried, and unless the video was about thirty seconds long, it doesn't. It doesn't upload anything. Uh, it says it takes about three days. So I just, I do it um, outside of my house when better internet. Uh, and that's just because I live really remotely. So, I, th I don't think I'm going the right way. Yep. So I hope everyone's good. Everyone is well. Let's get unfolded and uh, canola. I'm be told off for putting the wrong crop in the ground. Let's see how this pulls. Yeah, not so bad. Now, hopefully my voice is a little bit louder this time. I think there was a, a, a comment last episode about my voice being a little bit too... too devolumized, too quiet. And hopefully it's a little bit louder. Um, I've turned this up. I've also turned the machinery up as well. When I was editing the last episode, I, I felt that the machines were just too quiet. And when I wasn't speaking, it was all a little bit dull, so... I've turned the machinery up a little bit and hopefully I'm speaking a bit louder as well. Oh gosh, it doesn't like that. Wow. Oh, it's a little bit uphill. You can't really tell from above. It'd be better when we go down. So, um, as far as this series goes, yeah, I'm just going to play just how I would normally in my usual games. I've set a few things up. Now, I didn't have the BGAs installed. I think that was a required mod. I didn't have them installed when I first started. 
Um, so I've sorted just one out. I, I couldn't, it wouldn't add them in automatically, so I couldn't really work out where they were supposed to be. So I've placed one. I think one is all we need anyway. I don't need two biogas. And I've placed it on sort of near the straw manure and compost. Just above that in that area there, you can just see there's a square. And it says actually says biogas plant under compost. So that'll be where we take all of our biogas material. So when we come to mowing the grass, we can take it there, let it ferment and then sell it when the time comes. Uh, yeah, this isn't using much seed at all. That's good. We'll probably get this whole contract done. I don't want to spend too much on seed, although it will come in handy if I get any extra. Obviously, we're going to use it for ourselves. We'll get reimbursed for what's left as well in the seeder at the end of the contract, which is nice of them. So, yeah, I think mowing the grass is probably going to be the next, the next task that we do after we finish this and after we've sown our own field as well we can we can sow field 46 now we can pop some uh, cereal crop in there maybe uh, it'll be useful for the straw and I do plan on running the full maze extension CCM extension horse extension I've never done horses I'm not sure what everyone thinks about doing horses it's, it's, it's going to be a different experience to what I'm used to seeing people do on PlayStation. Just because I think we can, the global company will allow us to have the helper. And I think actually, does horses work differently in seasons? I th something is telling me that they do. I don't think you actually take care of them for as much profit as you get on the base game. I think it's it's kind of like you get paid every day. I'd, I'd correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong on that, but I've never done them before, so just, just going off what I've seen. So we've got a couple of headlands done. And then we can get to it. Get this contract finished. we've hit contract finished we might as well just do this last little strip though and then we'll go back to the store so I don't want to collect on the contract just yet because I don't want to be stuck in this field so okay now hopefully I'm not going to miss the turn in this time So it, actually, if we can empty this, I can put it in the cedar that we have back at the, uh, I'm going to call it a storage yard. It's not really a farm. It's just 
It's just our little storage yard. We'll use the seed then to put it into our cedar for field 46. I think I'll do just something quite easy. I think I'll do canola in our field as well. Because then we can get canola straw. And I think that's worth a little bit more than normal straw. If I remember rightly. So let's see if I can empty this. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's collect on that. Okay, so we got 1,975, which is not bad. So collect. There's still a lot of cultivating jobs, so a lot of fields still not ready. Hopefully some of those will drop off and then we can do some more sewing contracts. Right, so let's get this. Oh, I really dislike this cedar. Anyway, it'll do for now. So let's get that filled up. Oh, hopefully, yeah, I was hopefully there wasn't any traffic coming there, was it? So hopefully this is enough to do ours. So let's set that to canola before I forget. Close that up. The suspension on this tractor, it, it leans quite a bit. Has anyone else noticed that? I've not noticed that with other tractors, I'm sure. And when you turn quite sharply, it's, I feel like I'm going to tip over. Another thing we'll have to do also, um, I just forgot, was that we'll have to get some fertiliser on this. Um, and actually, fact, I don't think it... Does it need fertiliser? Oh, no, it actually, it doesn't. Maybe, yeah, I think it just needs one more. Is that one more? Yeah, just needs one more. So that's, that's good. So we'll have to invest at some point on fertiliser. Oh, I'm, I dislike this. I'm not going to go into the bush there too much. Another thing I'll have to invest in is a silo. I think I'll have to sort something out for that because that's going to really help us. We need somewhere to store the crops because we can't just sell them at any time of the year. Don't think we have anything. No, there's nothing in... We don't have anything. So, um, although it does say that we own... I'll have to just look at that. We own some crop already. Where would the silo be for that? I'd have to do some investigating. And once I find where those crops are, which silo they're in, then we can sell those throughout the year when the price is good. Obviously, we want to get best price. Because I'm going to need all the help I can get. And if anyone's wondering, I'm playing on normal economy. I always play on normal economy. I used to play on easy, but then I think after about a year or two, maybe two or three years in seasons, it just got a little bit easy. So I play on, I play on normal economy now. Just to make it a bit more of a challenge. So it's no fun when it's too easy. Don't know if you agree. 
So I think this is going to take quite a while. I think I've said it before, I, I just really dislike this cedar. It's, it's a small width and it just doesn't fold up, it's just uh, way chunky. But we will be making investments as we go along. It's going to be difficult in the first few years to actually turn a profit, I think. But we'll get there. We always do. It's part of the fun, isn't it? And this is my favourite bit of the gameplay, is actually just starting off and setting everything up and just timpering about looking after your fields, seeing them grow, selling them when the time comes. It's quite satisfactory, therapeutic. I know there are some people that will agree with that. And like I said, we can use this straw from the canola when the time comes. So I think that'll be us nearly done. Just a few more ups and downs. Yeah, so I think new investment in the cedar for next year, definitely. After this, we'll head just across to the store and we'll take a look at getting a fertilizer spreader. We just need to get the last fertilizing state on this field. Aim for the biggest yield possible. I suppose I could have given precision farming a go as well. I uh, actually haven't looked into doing that before. I've seen other YouTubers do it. It looks relatively easy. Still a little bit more time consuming. I don't know if I would enjoy it so much. It's a really good concept though, but when it first came out, I thought, well, this is what people do in real life, isn't it? Take samples of the soil just to see exactly what nutrients are available in them, what they can grow in the type of soil they have, how to get, maximize their yield and profitability. Don't know if it'll be relevant in this series though. Maybe I'll give it a go at some point. So yeah, after this, fertilizer spreader. Get that filled up with fertilizer. Come and spread that one here. Yeah, I think that'll be us done. Next episode, we can look into getting some mowers. I think I'll just have to lease machinery for now. I think that'll be the way forward. I've played a couple of games with Seasons on back when I was playing PS4 and I think it's probably not until like the third or fourth year you start really getting productive. Every bit of money I had I just put into new land. I think it makes sense. But I think I'm going to focus more on the production side on this one. Not sure where we're going to place any of it though. We'll figure that out as we go along just to see how profitable that is. I'm looking forward to doing that CCM as well. Because that's something different. Makes pigs a bit more interesting as well. And I noticed it does sell for quite a high price. Now maybe we'll have to get some corn in the ground. Last little strip now. Or maybe a st strip in a bit. I 
I'm not sure when the crop moisture, the little symbol up the top there, although I don't know when that turns off. Not like we're harvesting anything, but you would have thought half past, half past 11 in the morning. That would have turned off by now. Right. And look at that, we've definitely saved on seed. Like, canola uses hardly anything. I've noticed this before. Cash crop. Right. Take this back. And let's get ourselves a fertilizer. I'm going to pull out that junction one day and a car is just going to sideswipe me, isn't it? Right. Uh, I know. Do, do, so, £65,000 we have, so. £8,000 litre lime and fertiliser. I'm using that one on Chellington. Fertilizer only. Um, cedars. There is a little one. I, hmm. I don't know where it is. Just bear with me one moment. Right, I found it. It's here. So it's not got a very big capacity. But, let's give this a go. 10.8 metres, big enough for that field. £1,300, very low cost. Fertiliser and lime spreading, seed spreading as well, grass fields. I could use one of these for my grass at the moment, actually. I just had three kilograms of grass seed delivered yesterday. Okay. I'm hoping this works now. Oh, don't tell me it's... Does it go this way? There we go. Right, I just need to fill it now. Ooh. Pellets for fertilizer. Oh, that's expensive. Okay, let's just get one of those. I do plan on placing the CNS Anne Marie multi silo shop. That is good value. If anyone needs good value. Do we have spray rate? Yes. Can we reduce? Oh, not increase. Reduce the spray weight. Uh, let's half it. There we go. Let's see how quickly we get through 105 litres. We may need a few trips. Do I need to unfold this? Nope. Decent enough width, look at that. We'll have this done in no time. And it's not using it as fast as I thought. Probably just because I've <laughs> decreased the rate in which I wanted it to spray, but it's not cheating if it's available. Surely. <laughs> Let's 
So hopefully by mid-autumn, this field will be ready. I have no idea what I'm going to do for a harvester. We'll, we'll have to lease one, but I'll have to take a look at what we can afford. Like I said, we're, we're probably going to have to lease everything in this first year. Just to turn a profit. I'll also do a couple of contracts. I'll do them off screen though, because I know they're quite boring to watch. That will boost us a little bit. Get the mowing done next episode. Get some silage on the go. And that's just the way it is, isn't it? Start off nice and slow. Build your way up. Everything's more satisfactory that way. So I've used nearly half now. And I think we'll manage to get one and a half headlands done before we hit 50%. It would help if I didn't really waste any, wouldn't it? Let's see if I can line that up. That's it. So this will be my last video for at least 10 days um, on this map. I will be recording lots next week. It's just that my internet works at, I don't know, the last time I checked it, it was 0 0.9 megabits upload speed. Maximum, I think I get 7 megabits download. It's enough to run, you know, like your Netflix and Disney and anything else that you want to subscribe to and watch, but I can't upload anything. I've tried. Unless the video is about 30 seconds long, it doesn't like it. So I use internet outside of the house. Yeah, because it's, it's easier in town because the connection is better. So I'll be recording lots, which means I will have lots of videos ready when I get back to work. Which is good. But yeah, just going to take a little bit of a break. I've got lots of work to do on the house. My parents get here tomorrow, travelling 650 miles. A 24-hour journey and a 12-hour ferry crossing to see me. And they're probably going to spend about two or three weeks here. And I had some good news yesterday. First time off the island since February 2020 when I went to Edinburgh to play rugby. And that is for some training for work. For four days. Down near Bishop Auckland. Well actually it's in Bishop Auckland but I'll be staying just outside. And if nobody knows where that is, that's just south of Newcastle upon Tyne. Not a part of the world I've been to much before. Don't do much of the East Coast. Just because I'm from I'm from the Midlands, so it was always usually Lancashire, you know, Blackpool. <laughs> Holidays in Blackpool every year. So looking forward to it. Just nice to get away for a little bit. You start getting a bit of cabin fever when you're here too long. You're never more than three miles from the sea, but the islands, the main, the main island, probably about 80, 80 miles long. So it takes me to about 20 miles to work. So you don't really... Oh, look at that. I didn't even realise. I wasn't even paying attention then. We're empty just for that little strip. Okay, let's go put some more in then. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's a small, small island, 20 miles to work. You don't really... The scope of travel is not so broad that you don't get a, a little bit bored sometimes. And the weather's not been great. We're going out for walks, exercising, everywhere's been closed. It's not been good. The gym is just reopening, but of course... That would never coincide with the time that I actually want to go. Because you have to book in. So I still can't use that yet. 
but never mind. So let's get this last strip done. And then that's it, that'll be us done for today. This fertilizer is very good value. Very good value indeed. There we go. So let's head back to the yard. Drop this off and then let's call it a day. Uh, let's put you... Oh, we'll just get here. I'll just leave it on. Okay, so thanks very much, guys. End of another episode. So I'll see you when I get back. I'll try and get as much filming of this done as possible whenever it's quiet around the house. It's going to be busy now that we're going to have parents, building work, dogs. There's going to be dogs. So, yeah, we'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a comment. Give us a big thumbs up. And see you next time. Cheerio.